Welcome to this edition of ICN. I'm Wes. And I'm Jonathan. On this edition of ICN, we'll be discussing a new $20 million investment, a way to honor your pets. And a new exercise area at the college. But first, a local station is changing hands. After 32 years, the wake-up man at WCAB is retiring. Jim Bishop has woke up the Rutherford community with his morning call around report at 6.05 for the past 32 years. But a few weeks ago, he announced his retirement. We asked him about information on the new owners and what his future plans are after WCAB. Todd Fowler is the owner of uh, Todd Fowler and Associates. He is a buyer of the station. He bought WBRM in Marion and, and bought WCAB. And he is from uh, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, which is down near Charleston. And they, his company has bought several small town radio stations. That's his interest is community radio stations. So he bought us, bought Marion, and hoping to work the two together to build a coalition between uh, the foothills of Western. He mentions that he wants to catch up on activities such as golf and other hobbies with, with the off time. Everyone here in Rutherford County wants to thank Jim for 32 years of his good service to the community and the best wishes for the future ahead. The Thermal Belt Rail Trail is expanding thanks to a $20 million grant. This is part of the $60 million in raised grants for transportation in North Carolina. This project will connect Maple Street and Rutherfordton to Oakland Road and Spindale with a street designed for cars, public transportation, bikes, and pedestrians. This grant also includes transit stops with shelters and bike racks, planned workforce housing at RS Middle, and safer intersections for cyclists and pedestrians. This project is expected to be completed in 2026. There are big developments on the horizon for the town of Lake Lure, including plans for a replacement dam. That is a project that is in the design project now and will come to fruition probably around 10 years from now uh, when we actually build the replacement dam and that will be downstream from the dam that we have now. Uh, so that's wonderful. It makes no impact on the lake as far, and have, as far as having to lower the lake when we're building it. So lots more to follow up on that as we go through the different uh, processes of it. The dam is almost 100 years old and has been facing structural issues in the recent years. About 3,500 homes and small businesses in Polk County will receive high-speed internet. A $4 million grant by the GREAT program was awarded to the internet provider Spectrum. The total budget for Polk County's high-speed rehab is $12 million. Spectrum's goal is to reach as many North Carolina homes with high-speed internet as possible. The Patriot Pantry is back at it again this year on campus of ICC. Thanks to a $4,000 grant from Foothills Health District, the pantry is a resource for students in need of personal hygiene items or food. The pan the pantry is located in the Business Sciences Building, Room 120. This new this year is perishable foods like cheese, hot dogs, sandwich meats, and bread. The pantry accepts donations of non-perishable and date food items along with hygiene products. Currently, they need few specialized items including toilet paper and handheld can openers. The pantry is open from Mondays 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Thursdays from 12 p.m. to 4 Students will soon have an outdoor area to work out in. The tennis courts at Isothermal are being renovated this semester. Resurfacing has already started. One court will remain a tennis court, while the other court will have exercise stations for the BLET students to use. When the exercise equipment is not in use by the BLET students, the public can use the equipment. If you're an ICC student, voting just got easier than ever. Starting on October 20th, you may vote on campus. Early voting will last until November 5th and Election Day is November 8th. Same day registration is also available for early voters. Check the Rutherford County Board Elections homepage for more information. We'll be, we'll be taking a quick commercial break. But stay tuned because there's a movie filmed right here in our area. We'll tell you about it coming up on next on ICN. I believe isothermal is an excellent first step and entry point to learn foundational skills so that you're uh, much uh, more employable uh, to, the, to the general workforce, especially a company like Trailboard. The courses are designed uh, to be effective in the, in the workplace so that they can uh, accelerate uh, being a valuable employee. I chose isothermal because it was the quickest way to get the education I wanted. With an applied sciences and engineering technology degree, I was able to complete what skills I needed for a job. The degree was hands-on, fast, and has prepared me for a high-paying career in just two years. And that's how isothermal helped me start strong and finish stronger.
With the star of this new academic year, we had the opportunity to speak with the president of Isothermal Community College, Dr. Margaret Annunziata. She had some great advice and one simple request. What I ask every student here to do is to make a pledge to me and say, I promise not to leave Isothermal Community College without giving, I said, Margaret, right? I'm taking the responsibility for this one, giving me the opportunity to help overcome any barriers that come up. That's why we show up every day. So give us the chance to help you and don't leave us until you've reached your goal. Nationally, enrollment for colleges has been declining since the early 2000s. Although enrollment at Isothermal has been pretty consistent, this year Isothermal welcomed back almost 2,000 students, which is slightly above Isothermal's enrollment last year. The total population for Isothermal service area, that includes Polk and Rutherford counties, is roughly 87,000 people. If you're in one of the Applied Technologies programs like me, you might be interested to meet the dean of all our programs, Dean Harvey. We're improving life through learning here at Isaac Thermal Community College, and that's what I'm passionate about. So um, this is exciting for me to, to see you guys and to work with you guys. Um, I'm looking forward to new programs and, and you know, just uh, doing what I can to serve the faculty and students here at ICC. For many people, losing a pet can be like losing a member of the family. Lake Lure's Flowering Bridge is now home to a way that can help some pr process this loss. The idea of a pet crossing the Rainbow Bridge when they pass is a common sentiment, brought to reality at the Flowering Bridge. The bridge encourages people to leave collars and dog tags in memory of their furry friends. The project was started when a resident lost their dog that would take walks on the bridge, wanting to commemorate them somehow. Forest City's Main Street is back to normal after hosting one of the biggest car shows in its history. A large portion of Main Street was closed for the event. Over 420 cars were registered and almost 90 cars went home with a trophy. The day included music, lots of cars from many different eras, and was packed with people. Plus, a food court sponsored by the Daily Courier. This was the 30th year for the car show known as Hot Cars Cool Nights. Saluda has gone to Hollywood. The film Gigi and Nate, now playing across the country, part of the filming took place in Saluda last spring. There she is. Hey, Gigi. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> oh, she likes me. She just doesn't know it yet. Filmed all over North Carolina, Gigi and Nate tells the story of a young quadriplegic man and his capuchin monkey. The Chicago Sun-Times reviewed the film and found more to the story. The seemingly dark tame drama suddenly takes on extra weight as a statement about animal rights. During our Big Blue Welcome event, we went out to campus to ask our students and faculty their best advice for new students at ICC. My advice for new students would be to try something that scares you and uh, sign up for everything you can. My advice to give for upcoming students is to just be open-minded, be open to new things. Uh, um, do follow your dream, do whatever you want to do when it comes to fulfilling that dream and just be as passive and be as open-minded as you can possibly be. Being a good student, honestly, it's not the worst thing. You just got to be there, talk to your teachers. Like, if you have a good teacher, they'll understand if something happens. You just have to figure out what works for you and just having an understanding. So my advice for new students would to be get involved in many organizations as you can. You never know what door will open and what person you'll meet. That's all for today's episode of ICN. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as we enjoyed making it. If you want to check out more of our content, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and like our Facebook page. But make sure to stick around after the credits for a special announcement from my co-anchor, Wesley Elam. Till next time, we'll see ya.
Are you sick of your day job? You know making those Subway sandwiches isn't paying the bills. And that angry customer that just called corporate? Yup. They're hiding around the corner just waiting to demand for the manager again. Sometimes at night you roll around in bed wondering, how could it possibly have ever gotten this bad? Where did my life go so wrong? Well, I have the solution. Welcome to Isothermal Community College. We have welding, nursing, electrical, dental assistance, any art you can imagine, and even a giant lake with ducks. What are you waiting for? 